So you just started your photography business and you have zero clients and you're probably wondering how can you get more clients? How are you going to build up your portfolio? Because you just started. Well, in this video, I'm going to be giving you all some tips on some things I did to build my portfolio and attract new clients. So stay tuned. What's going on YouTube? A-Train here bringing y'all another video. If this is your first time on our channel. My name is A-Train. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer and on my channel, I post photography tips, tricks, and tutorials. So if you're interested in that type of content, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos. All right, I'm not gonna waste your time. Let's get straight into it. So the first tip I have for y'all, if you're a beginner photographer and you're trying to build up your portfolio is to do free shoots. Now, I know a lot of people are not gonna agree with this. I see a lot of people talking about all the time. Oh, I'm not doing free shoots, blah, blah, blah. Hey, forget all that, man. You gotta drop the ego, especially when you're just starting out of business. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Now I'm all for doing free work, you know. Now with this free work, you wanna be sp very specific about, you know, who you're shooting and who you're working with. But I think, you know, it's a lot of businesses out here who do free work, especially in the beginning stages because you have to build up your business. And sometimes, most of, most of the time, that's the only way you can really build up that momentum in your business is by doing free work. Now when it comes to doing this free work, I don't think you should just be just out shooting random people just doing all kinds of free work i think you need to be very selective and specific with it you know you also want to put a cap on it because you don't just want to keep shooting a bunch of free work at that point if you're doing too much free work uh for people then people may not want to pay you so you want to be very selective with it and you want to think about your brand and who you're trying to attract before you even reach out to people to do free work I feel like this is why it's so important to know your ideal client because you'll know exactly what type of free work you need to do. Now, if you don't know the specific client that you're trying to reach, then you're not going to know what type of shoots and what type of content to do to attract those clients. So before you even begin to do free work, make sure that you know your ideal client and who you're trying to attract and it's going to make it easier to find people to do that free work. So when it comes to doing this free work, you want to make sure that you're in control and you're telling telling your client exactly what you want. You don't want to just push it to the client and let them kind of, you know, create everything and think of ideas and stuff. You want to create a specific look that's going to help you tra attract your ideal clients that you're trying to get in the future. So you want complete control. You want to like with some of our free shoots we've done, you know, we provide the clothing, the makeup and things like that. It's all styled by us so we can get that specific look that we're going for. Because I've seen a lot of photographers that make the mistake of, you know, I've seen people say that they do free shoots, but they didn't get, you know, the look that they're going for. And that's probably because they didn't have a plan and they didn't facilitate it in a way to where they're in control. And you're telling the client what you need from them. Another thing you want to do now, I know some people I see some photographers, they do a lot of model calls on their social media and stuff. I don't really like that way of doing free work. I like to reach out specifically to that person through DM or email. So at that point, you know, cause I feel like I see a lot of photographers just posting a lot of model calls on their social media. So, you know, a client looking at that, they're gonna see that, you know, you're always looking for a model. So they may not even book you because I always see that you're doing, you know, free shoots with models and stuff like that. So to kind of combat that, I feel like you should just reach out to them privately. And, you know, that way people won't even know, you know, client, uh, potential clients won't even know that you're doing this free work because you just reached out specifically, you know, to that person. So I highly recommend doing that instead of just posting on your social media all the time, you know, free model call and stuff like that. Because I feel like it can kind of you know, devalue your brand and people are just going to wait around for the next model call. <laughs> you know, that's what I think about it. Um, again, everybody's different, but that's just what we've done when it comes to doing free work. All right. So the next tip I have for y'all is to do styled shoots. Now, for those of you who don't know what a style shoot is, this is pretty much a shoot that you make up from scratch. Like it's 100 percent styled and just planned and made up by you. Now, with these style shoots, you can do them for any niche of photography. Uh, you know, it's just style shoot is a fancy name for it, but it's pretty much just a theme shoot that you come up with and you bring it to life through photography. So if you're just starting out, I think style shoots are great. A lot of photographers do style shoots to build their portfolio for a specific niche. Now with us, we have done a couple of wedding style shoots because we start to specialize in weddings. We needed some more content. You know, if, if you want to shoot something, you have to show people that specific type of photography you can't say that you know you're a headshot photographer and you don't have headshot work you know what i mean just as you know you can't say you're a wedding photographer you don't have any wedding 
work to show. If you want to book a specific type of photography, people need to see it. You know, it's the same as if you're selling something like I think there's a saying, you know, it's 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 hard to sell something if you can't show it to people. So just go for whatever you're trying to show to people. If you're specializing in weddings, you know, newborns, families, then do those specific style shoots. So you have that content to show to potential families, potential brides, and you get the picture. Now, style shoots are great to build your portfolio, but they also give you an opportunity to, you know, connect with people, to build relationships, you know, to collaborate with different vendors and stuff like that, which, you know, these things can really benefit you in the long run because when it comes to photography, it's all about building connections and marketing. Like if you don't do those things, then you're not going to be successful. If you're just behind a computer all the time, you know, you're going to struggle because you have to get out meet with people, connect with people, talk to people. So style shoots are great because you can collab with people and get them on, you know, with this shoot. So you have multiple vendors within this shoot. And it, like I said, it just gives you an opportunity to connect with people. And these people will also most likely share your work. If you send them the pictures, they will share your work and tag you. So you're going to get, you know, exposure from them sharing your work all over the place. So you're going to get new eyes on your work which can potentially bring you more clients. Those are my tips on building your portfolio as a beginner photographer. As you can see, it's not really hard. You just have to get out, do the free work, connect with people, set up style shoots, and then you'll have that content to post. You know, you can run ads, start to market that content. And that's, you know, clients are gonna see your work and they're gonna start to trust you. And this is gonna bring you in clients in the future. So I have another video that you might be interested in. It's how to make money as a beginner photographer. In that video, I explain some things I did to make my first thousand dollars as a photographer. So I'm gonna link it up top in the info card. Be sure to check out that video if you are interested. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I post new videos every single week. I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.